you know when people ask me what is that one thing that i can do to change or transform the look and feel of my presentation i always say use imagery right because images create a visual storytelling experience in your presentation but there are few issues that we face with images for example the images that we download sometime are not in the proper ratio they don't cover the entire screen they are not 16 to 9 and we always see the blank spaces on either right left on both the sides on the top the bottom and we always feel that okay we need to use full picture images so how do we make sure that without stretching the image we get the complete picture because sometimes what happens when you stretch the image it might pixelate or you might end up leaving a key area out of the frame For example if this is my image and I want to make it full screen if I actually stretch it like this you will see that I have lost some area of the neck I only have a close up plus it's getting pixelated as well so today I'm going to show you a trick that will help you extend background of any image whether it's shorter from left right center top or bottom so this is actually not less than a magic trick for powerpoint users so let me show you how to extend backgrounds We are going to take four to five example. To begin with, this one. This is a simpler one since there is a blank space in the background. All I am going to do is just make a copy. So I have made a copy, as you know. I am just placing it exactly on the same image and cropping only the extra area. So now I have this. color patch right now since there are no elements on this background it's a plain background i'm just going to stretch it out like this now let's see it on full screen you can still see a line over here right it's not a seamless background so now is where the magic happens i'm going to click on it and you will see this rotate tab on the top which comes under picture format just click on the arrow and do flip horizontally and let's see it now can you see it's a seamless background this is how it looked before and now you have a complete full picture slide and you can also place your text over here let's see it once again now that was a simpler image since it was a plain background this one has elements like the stars the sea the sand let's see how to do the same trick over here so i'm going to make a copy of the same image and i'm going to only keep the cropped area which is basically the area that we need to fill this is the corner area this much this is it now if you see it on full screen you can obviously see this line over here now all you need to do is double click click on rotate and flip horizontally so can you see it makes basically an inverse copy of the same area so that it looks like a seamless image there is no partition there is no harsh line you cannot see where the images are connecting now let's look at this image this has a proper pattern of the bricks there is a man in the background and you can see the hand with a small brick now i'm going to make another copy and place it over here and just like other slides we are just going to crop the area that we need to fill in so i can see till here perfect Now let's see on full screen you can see a proper line Now I'm going to double click on the extra part that we have added click on the rotate arrow and do flip horizontal and look at this and now you have a seamless image without having to compromise with the quality of the image or even the section of the image because when you extend an image by stretching it you lose a certain area right So this is one trick that can help you extend background of any picture that you may have and it makes it look seamless. I think the only slides where you might struggle would be the pictures with text because the moment you do rotate action on that side the text will also get rotated right you will see a inverse image of the text as well. But otherwise besides that you can use this trick on any slide. Now this is another example that I have taken because I wanted to show you what if you want to extend the slides on both the sides. 
for example if you want to keep this person in the center of the slide you don't want to change the center so you what you can do is i'm going to make two copy of the same image so first i'm doing the right side crop of it and now i'm going to do the left side so this is how my image looks like right now you can see a line over here and you can see a line over here now i'm going to click on this extra part double click rotate flip horizontal same thing on the left side rotate flip horizontal and you will have a seamless canvas on your screen this is how it looked before and this is after slide now let's look at this one what if we want to increase the area on the top like horizontally and not really vertically can we do that well we absolutely can so i'm going to make a copy of this slide first and now i am just copying it at the top crop this is how it looks like without the rotation tool i'm going to double click rotate in this case we are not going to do flip horizontal instead we are going to do flip vertical and let's look at this you have a seamless full picture slide now with you I'm going to show you one last example now which is this beautiful image of Mumbai ceiling. Now let's say that you don't want to increase the size by stretching because you don't want to lose few parts of the image or you don't want to compromise on the actual clarity of the image. So in this case also if you want to keep it in the center and increase on both the sides you can just make a copy put it on right crop I'm going to do the same thing on the left side. Make a copy, put it on the left. Crop. Keep only the additional part to cover the space, the blank space. Now I'm going to double click on the right hand side extra image that I have put. Click on rotate and flip horizontal. Same thing on the left. Rotate and flip horizontal. and you will see a perfect seamless image in few images there will be some flaws like you can see this corrected but you can definitely use these things because it's better than losing the quality of the image plus you can also cover this area by putting some sort of a transparency layer and place your text over there all right so i hope that you enjoyed watching this trick this trick will really help you with your full screen images the slides that you use to you know show concepts to your uh, title slide your breaker slide and a lot more other slides so do use this trick and let me know in the comment box if you like this trick and if there's anything in particular that you want me to make a video on do let me know i'll surely make one thank you so much for watching power of powerpoint with shruti sharma